Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, a nice finish to the day with a big blast of orange on the western horizon. Let's take a quick look. The sun sets literally in five minutes. Come check this out. Uh, we have these uh, stratus, stratocumulus clouds uh, off in the uh, distance and just this little sliver of clear on the western horizon looking at Newport around the Providence uh, with the wind turbines are uh, real pretty. And we'll switch over to uh, Newport as well with a nice fiery red sky as well. It's a quiet evening, cool and dry. Temperatures now settling back into uh, the upper 50s. Oh, if you're wondering about when we set the clocks back, it's the, the weekend of November 5th. All right, 59 in Providence, <clears throat> 61 in New Bedford, and Taunton now uh, checking in at 58. So temperatures are comfortable, but they'll really drop off overnight to the point where the area is in light blue. It is a frost advisory from 2 in the morning, so way after midnight towards 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, Bristol, Plymouth County, and, and far northwestern Rhode Island, and over the border into Connecticut. I don't think it's widespread and hard, but a frost potential nonetheless. Wow, what a nice week we have ahead. No rain, dry through at least Saturday, and potentially into Sunday as well. But the bigger weather story will be a significant warm-up starting midweek Wednesday and extending through Saturday afternoon high temperatures will be unseasonably warm with readings in the 70s. We'll see that <clears throat> in the seven day forecast. Skies are clear to partly cloudy across New England, really up and down the East Coast. It's fairly quiet. Just want to take you away out in the Atlantic briefly. We're still in hurricane season. Southern New England, that is Hurricane Tammy. Winds at last check from the Hurricane Center at 75 miles per hour. The forecast track over the next five days has it curling back towards Bermuda, but it weakens it to a tropical depression. So good news there. We'll keep an eye on it. In the meantime, um, it's fairly quiet. The weather pattern has changed or will be changing this week. When we talk about pattern, we're referring to the storm track of the jet stream, which will actually lift to the north. What that promotes here is warmer than average temperatures and dry conditions. It tends to keep all the precipitation off to our west. All right, let's take a look at the temperatures and how they'll drop off overnight. Watch the time bar. So by 4, 5, 6 in the morning, generally in the upper 30s, but some outlying areas north and west of Providence maybe in the mid 30s could be a touch of frost here early in the morning. Sunshine gets to work rapid warm up somewhere between about 61 and 63 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Some sunshine so real nice. Not quite as chilly uh, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night for tomorrow morning. Uh, clear, dry skies, temperatures early in the morning, chilly in the upper 30s to around 40, but recovers to 56 by 11 a.m. And during the afternoon, very nice, mainly sunny skies, you know, a few fair weather clouds. Temperatures around 61, 62 for the afternoon high. All right, bay forecast, unlimited visibility. The wind north becoming locally onshore south at about 10 to 15 knots. All right, seven-day forecast. We are quiet for this evening. A look at this stretch of weather through Saturday and potentially into Sunday as well. Long-range forecast suggesting maybe these showers on Sunday should wait until Sunday night rather than Sunday day. But look at the temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Just when you thought the 70s were gone until <laughs> next spring, we bring back the decade. Why not? So it looks pretty good this week and pretty uh, comfortable too. I don't remember the last time I was this excited about a seven day forecast. Make the most of it. Obviously, this is not a trend for the next several <laughs> months. Winter's around the corner, but enjoy. All right, Tony, yeah. thanks. We have more coverage in Countdown coming up on 12 News at 5.